Welcome, fellow Star Wars collectors, to another episode of Beyond the Card Back. I'm Trooper TK314. If this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and use the force to hit that notification button so you don't miss any future uploads. Today, we're taking a closer look at my Galaxy's Edge Trading Post Bounty Hunt. <laughs> Okay guys, some cool things I picked up that aren't really like review worthy, you can't really go into them, but they are cool, is literature. And I got the Traveler's Guide to Batu, which I think is really neat. It actually has some really good artwork on there, uh, and it gives you all kinds of tips and tricks to Batu. It's as if you were in the world, like this is a Traveler's Guide, like someone has gone to that world and they're writing what you should know. It gets all the way down to even political factions with the Resistance and the... Uh, first order so I think that's really neat. One of the next books I picked up was a apparently this was five comic books at one time. Marvel did a five comic book release and as they always do they made it into a graphic novel so I picked that up and I've actually read quite a bit of it. Uh, the artwork is amazing I don't know if you can see that or not but the artwork is really good so and the stories in here are really good too so with these two items right here I'm gonna be full of some Batu knowledge. Better Batu out of the way. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> but one of the things I wanna do, uh, well, no, not yet, sorry, whoops, got ahead of myself. I did, I saw this, and I wasn't gonna get it. And there's a selling point here. I watched another review video, and I saw this little baby Tauntaun. This little baby Tauntaun right here and the little noise that it made melted my heart and I was like oh my god I need to have that Tauntaun so here we go is that just not the most precious cutest little thing you've ever heard he is so soft um, and it was he was only $12 I think it was $12.99 so that's not bad and of course I saw another one. I love me an Ewok, so I had to get a Wicket. And this is the cutest. They're so soft, though. But these aren't actually at the Creature Stall at Galaxy's Edge in Disney World, Disneyland. These are strictly Target exclusives. But he also makes noise. <coughs> My cats didn't really like it when he made that growling noise because I. <laughs> I was chasing him through the house with it, but I thought that was fun. But these are just the most adorable little things I've seen. So they're going to be going on the shelf with my little baby Yoda. The next thing I picked up was Sabacc shaped playing cards. And those are really neat. There was some controversy. Some people were disappointed in these because they thought they were actually getting Sabacc cards. In reality, it's they're just shaped like Sabacc cards, but they're your usual run of the mill uh, playing cards. And wow, that's how they come packaged. Really cool. And they're just playing cards. I mean, they're your average, see? Six of whatever those are. I think that's a club. I don't know. Six of something. But they're really cool. I mean, it's just, that's your average playing card. There's a king. But they look like Sabat cards. So I think that's neat because I looked at the game of Sabat, the actual one, and I do not understand it. I'm not very good. I'm not very good on new games, reading instructions and understanding it. It took me forever to learn Risk, and I still don't know how to play it unless it's on my phone. The last few things that I picked up, and I'm actually going to be doing a couple of unboxings with you guys, is some of the Astromech droids, and they're the three-quarter inch model. Uh, one of the sets I got was the BB units. It's black and purple, and this purple droid. You can actually, I think you can build each and every single one of these at the Droid Depot in Galaxy's Edge. But I distinctly remember seeing the purple one at Galaxy's Edge. Like, I distinctly remember that one. And I think the black and white one is almost like the one my sister made. Uh, there's a video of that if you haven't seen it. Uh, she called it Zero R30 Oreo because it's black and white. But we're going to actually be opening uh, some of the astromech droids. I'm probably going to open up the BB units and then my my two well my two favorite 
astromech toys, but I picked up this one, orange and black, which is very cool. He comes with thrusters. This one is pink and white, and it comes with a droid serving tray, which is cool. And then last but not least, this one just comes with an alternate head, and it's red and white. The cool thing is they are not named, so you can actually name these whatever you want to name them. So let's go ahead and open up the BB units and see what they're all about. Okay guys, so the cool thing about this is you don't open it from the top, you think you would, like for some reason you would think that you could open it from the top and bottom. You actually cut the sides here and they open to the side and then you can just pull them right on out. Here we go. This is cool. Okay, these are cool. Look at that. Okay, sorry for the loud noise. I may mute it right here because I know that this makes a lot of noise. Ah! Droid down. Okay guys, out of the package, I'm kind of liking these BB units more than I was in the store. The package really doesn't give them any credit. Look at that. Pretty good detail right there. That's nice. And the only articulation is the head. It does rotate and move around in a circle. And they actually have a little bit of a flat spot right here, so they're able to sit on your table nice, and they don't roll around too much, except when they're coming out of the package and they decide to fall on the floor. But the cool thing is, they're on a ball hinge, so you can actually swap the heads around for the different droids you did buy, which is really neat. So there's the purple one, here's the black one, black and white one, and it has a different head to it, really nice. The detail on these are really good, but it also has a flat spot on the bottom, and they sit right there on your shelf. Let's go ahead and open up this one that has the serving tray. Kind of excited about that. Okay guys, here it is out of the package, and it looks really cool. It's actually more of a purplish color than a pink, but it's really neat, and it reminds me of the droids that you can build at Disney World and Disneyland. Um, and the, it's kind of like the Star Wars Museum, and then you come out into the gift shop, and you can build your own um, protocol droid, or you can build an astromech droid, and that's exactly what these are. Um, because you can take the head off, it just pops right off, nice detail there, and you can actually swap it with any of the uh, astromech droids that you picked up from Target, or if you have any other astromechs that you've built at Disneyland or Disney World, so that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, but the detail on this is really nice. It's a very clean figure. I can't wait to name all of these, but it does come with the drink tray. So let's go ahead and slap that on there and see what it looks like. Oh, and that fits nicely. That's very nice, look at that. Very nice, very, very nice. The cups are extremely tiny. They do come off, they're held on with a peg, but one of my cups already doesn't really stick well, and it is super tiny. I think it's it's not even a centimeter, maybe. It's super tiny, so make sure that you don't lose those because it fell twice, and I had to get on the floor to try to find it. Next up is the one that I think is my favorite just because my favorite color is orange, but this one is orange and black. Let's go ahead and open him up. Okay, this one's cool. This one is cool. I like the colors on it. Uh, this almost could be a Halloween droid because it's orange and black. Um, and they actually do have a Halloween Joy. It's a BB unit this year. I'm going to be picking him up. I really want him. Um, he looks like a pumpkin. But this one looks like a Halloween Joy. It's orange and black. The dome is supposed to be clear, but it's a little bit uh, foggy looking. It's really cool. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. And the detail is great. And once again, you can swap the heads out for these. You can even swap the arms out. But the cool thing about this one is he comes with thrusters. They're supposed to just fit right on there. Like we saw R2 in Revenge of the Sith. But those are neat too. Those are really detailed. I like the color. They're translucent, but they go from like a blue to a fiery color. That's very nice. Yeah, this one's my favorite one I've picked up so far. Last but not least, we have the red and white droid. He's really cool looking as well. He comes with an alternate head. Let's go ahead and open him up. Okay, this one's nice. Uh, this one is more of a, a solid matte color all over. Uh, the white's a matte color, the red is. That's very nice. Very nice looking. 
um, just a usual astromech droid and it does come with the alternate head you can just pop that one off pop this one on and I like this series of droids anyways I like those domes I think they're very neat and that may be the dome that I keep him with because that just makes him unique from the other ones because the other ones have like the dome shape so that's really cool I like that Okay guys, that concludes my in-depth look at my Target exclusive Galaxy's Edge Trading Post merchandise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Beyond the Force. There's a link in the description below. And as always, may the Force be with you.